Hi, I am here to share you some tips for doing workout during Ramadan. How can we work out after fasting for 11 hours, with no food and water or other drinks either? You would be surprised how many of them actually do this. But if it is not coupled with the appropriate nutritional, fitness and sleep adjustments, you may find yourself so difficult to stick to your workout plan. So, everyone should remember nutrition, exercise and sleep should always come together to build up a healthy Ramadan. So now, everybody would wonder when should I work out during Ramadan? There are few possible time to done your workout, but in this video, I'm gonna share you the best three timing that are strongly recommended to minimize strength and muscle loss based on research. First, work out before Sahur. Wake up early in the morning, drink a plenty of water and get into your workout. Even workout is performed with an empty stomach, but your body actually retain energy and hydration from the meal last night and you are still able to drink throughout the workout. Once you are done, you can get a nutrient-dense meal right away, to refuel your body. So, it is safe and optimal for muscle development. This timing is ideal for you to do a moderate to high intensity of non-rigorous cardio or strength training. If you wish to maximize fat loss, do some cardio with an empty stomach. But remember to finish your workout before Sahur. Never skip Sahur. You should fuel your body and hydrates properly before going for an 11 hours fasting until iftar. If you don't have much appetite after a tiring workout, you can consume a small portion of food, but with right and balanced nutrients. You should take complex carbohydrates instead of simple carbs. Complex carbohydrates digested more slowly and are high in fiber, which make them more filling. Like wholemeal bread instead of white bread. Oatmeal instead of cereal. Same goes to high-fiber food, it helps to slow down the release of energy, keeping you full for a longer time. So, kurma dates, veggies and fruits should be included. And high protein like egg, beans, and meat to recover and build up your muscle after workout. Eating right food will leave you feeling energized, and help reduce feelings of hunger and thirst during the day. Second, workout after iftar meal. Wait for an hour, make sure that you have fully digested your food, then start your workout. This is an awesome timing to get your workout done because you have taken your pre-workout meal. No risk of early fatigue and dehydration, extremely safe. While cardio can be difficult on a bloated stomach, it's a good time for weight training. However, due to time restriction in between iftar and tarawih prayers, it's okay to have a choice of short and intense workout. Perform a 20 to 30 minutes of high intensity interval training to maximize your overall muscular development. Iftar marks the end of fast, which everyone has been looking forward to, after a long day of fasting. That's why some of them may struggle with overeating, which leads to indigestion, acid reflux and other gastric problems. Take it easy, break your fast with plenty of water and some dates, give your stomach some time to process. For a easier portion control, split your plate into three parts, fill half plate with high fiber veggies, one quarter for carbs, and another quarter for protein. Aim for colorful veggies that contains different kinds of vitamins and minerals. High fiber veggies also provide a feeling of fullness, causing you to eat less, as well as improve your digestion. Complex carbs, more stable and sustainable source of energy, brown rice, potatoes, whole grain noodles. High quality protein, beef, fish, chicken, egg, cheese, milk and yogurt helps in building and maintaining muscle mass. Try limit your intake of unhealthy fats, salt and refined sugar from junk food, sweets and sweetened drinks. Don't be in a hurry to finish your food, practice mindful eating, focus on consuming the right foods that your body needs. Third options, work out after tarawih prayers. For night owl, this is a great time to work out, because food consumed earlier during iftar has been well digested, and your body has been fully rehydrated. This timing will also allow you to consume post-workout meal or shake which is essential for muscle recovery. But if you find this timing a bit too late for you, be free to choose another workout timing. High-intensity workout is not recommended in the late night or before bed, as it will interrupt your sleep. If you really pick this time, go for yoga, pilates or other low to moderate intensity workout. And remember don't let your workout to take over the whole night, it's not a good idea to sacrifice your sleep for workout. Always prioritize safety during your workout. You should avoid doing workout while fasting. Training in a state of dehydration can cause a significant loss in muscle strength, and we should avoid that. Again, remember, nutrition, exercise and sleep should come together for a healthy Ramadan.
Using these three workout timing to schedule your workout, to keep your energy levels up, your mind clear and your metabolism stable. Work out at least three times every week, 20 to 30 minutes for each workout session. During Ramadan, you shouldn't train at 100% intensity. Lower your intensity to 50% less than normal, to prevent muscle loss. Focus on maintenance instead of gain. And cultivate a good eating habits that will stay with you for the whole fasting month. Yes, self-control and self-discipline is always the key. Hope you like this video. And wish you all a blessed Ramadan.